new videos every day. Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Eccles again. So glad to be with you. Uh, very lucky, of course, such a good sport. She's going to help us today teach you a little bit about shoulder problems. Now, you know, I remember when I was going through shoulders uh, in school many, many years ago, uh, shoulders were kind of a nightmare. They're very, very complicated. Uh, I, I kind of, my eyes would get glazed over when I started thinking about shoulders because there's so much going on in there. There's so many different muscles, uh, so much happening. And I might also add that the shoulder muscle, the shoulder joint rather, there is probably the most vulnerable joint that we have in the body. You know, it's not really hooked on with anything other than just muscles. They're just holding this thing on here. So it's, and, and also we have more range of motion in the shoulder joint than we do in any other joint. So there has to be a trade-off between uh, stability and, and motion. So the more motion you have in a joint, the less stability that you're gonna have in it. So um, these get injured a lot, especially now that fitness is such a big craze. We see people lifting weights uh, and doing all kinds of, you know, P90X and all kinds of crazy things like that. And so we see a lot more shoulder injuries. The number one rule, the number one rule, write this down when you're exercising, the number one rule is do not hurt yourself. Um, that, that's the most important thing. Go slow. I never could do that. I always would hurt myself because I would always try to get in shape today. And it just doesn't work that way. You have to go very slow and build yourself up in very, very slow increments. Otherwise, you're going to have injuries. And when you have injuries, then you're out and you can't continue to get better and better. Not only that, you, you end up maybe having to have shoulder surgery or something. And I've seen my patients have that happen. They, they were trying to get healthy, trying to do the right thing. They ended up hurting their shoulder, had to have so, shoulder surgery. And so the whole thing just didn't work out. So go slow, go easy. If it's hurting, don't do it. Don't push yourself. But today I'm gonna show you how we can actually locate where the problems are in the shoulder by testing the different muscles in the shoulder and then how we can go about correcting some of them. Now, the muscles, the nerves rather from the neck go down all the way into the arm and they go all the way down into the hand. And the first thing that we will find out, we will start asking is, uh, Cord, do you have any pain that ever radiates down into your arm or into your hands? Um, yeah. Do you? It's definitely from the neck down. Okay, so it comes from your neck. And how far down does it go? Um, just a little bit right in the shoulder area. Okay, right here. gotcha. Not too far. Not too far, all right. Do you ever notice that your fingers get tingly or numb at all? Um, yeah, on my left side, I, I went to the doctor for something like that. Mm -hmm. And they gave me an Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So the reason that we ask these questions, guys, is because the nerves that are here in the hands, they have their origin here in the neck. The nerves that innervate this thumb and forefinger, this comes from the base of the neck. It's called the C6 nerve, the C7, and then the C8 nerve is here on the end. So just by finding out where she's having this numbness in the hand, it oftentimes helps us to locate the problem here in the neck area. So um, the nerve that comes from here, it goes down into the shoulder. It can be entrapped in this shoulder area too and cause problems. Then it comes down and it goes through the elbow. It can also be entrapped here. And then finally, it can actually be trapped in the nerve, in the, excuse me, in the wrist. And that's of course what we call carpal tunnel syndrome. So the, the doctor needs to be able to uh, find out where the nerve is entrapped. Is it entrapped in the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, or the wrist? And there's different ways that we can find out where that is. I'm going to show some of those to you today. So, Cora, we're going to start by checking some of the muscles in your shoulder and see if there's any weakness there. And if there is, we'll work to get those strengthened up for you. It's really amazing uh, when we get a patient coming in and they, uh, they can either be little bitty old ladies or they can be big strapping weight lifting guys. If the muscle is turned off, it's not going to work. It's going to be weak. It doesn't matter how big and strong they are. It's going to be weak. I was uh, treating a personal trainer the other day with a muscle and even though he's really, really strong, the muscle was just weak when we tested it. So it doesn't really have anything to do with how conditioned you are or how, 
uh, that's one of the, the things my patients say, oh, I haven't been exercising that muscle very much. That, this has nothing to do with it. It's more like uh, when a circuit breaker at your home trips, it shuts off the refrigerator. So no amount of painting the refrigerator or putting Freon in it or anything like that is going to make it any better until we get the circuit breaker tripped and the muscle turned back on. So I want that to be very clear. This isn't about conditioning or how strong you are. It's about whether the muscle is actually connected neurologically to the rest of the body. Okay, so let's get busy and I'll demonstrate some of those shoulder um, muscle tests. Okay, so we've got Miss Cora. She's in the right position to check out some of the muscles in her shoulder and upper extremities here. So we're gonna start by checking the deltoid muscle. It's a muscle that's right here on the, on the top of the shoulder right here and we'll have her bend this arm a little bit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise your arm up like that while I'm pushing down. Go ahead, push. And that muscle's really weak, okay? Right off the bat, we found one. Push up again, it just uh, it won't hold. Let's check this other one over here. Push up for me right here. Now, I cannot push that muscle down. It is really locked. Can you feel the difference on that, Cora? Big difference, right? Once again, let's push. I'm straining, I cannot move it. But this one, if very little effort is really required. It just won't lock. So I could probably do this with two fingers. I could just push that muscle down. So that tells us that we've got a problem up here in the neck area that's affecting this deltoid muscle. The next one we're gonna check is the triceps. You'll put your uh, arm here. And what you're gonna be doing, Cora, is pushing your arm down like this. So push against me this way, push down. Try it again, push down for me. Not really happy with that one either. It's kind of weak. Push down again. Pretty weak. Let's try this one. Push down this way. And see, I cannot move that one. So most of our problems seem to be on this side. Now, the other nerve root that we're going to check is the last nerve root in the neck. And it, it innervates these muscles that are in the hand here. So what you'll do is you'll push your fingers out as hard as you can. Don't let me push them in. Push them out real hard. And we're just gonna put some light pressure here. If, if that is weak, this finger will collapse and I can't really get it to collapse. You can't push these very hard. They're very little muscles, so you have to be kind of gentle. But I'm just lightly pushing and those are holding in place very nicely. Uh, let's check those, these on this side. Push out for me, everybody can see. And that's really not, push out real hard. Yeah, that's not really going. So what we have a situation here is where her shoulder muscle Two of the muscles in it that we know about already are not working properly, the deltoid and the triceps. And these are coming from problems that are in her neck area. So the, the muscle, the problem may not be necessarily intrinsic to the shoulder, but let's go ahead and fix that while we're here. And then maybe we can check a couple of more muscles after we're done. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see what we can do to make this muscle stronger. So I'm gonna have you turn your head all the way this way and lean it way back, way back like that. Now, push up real hard for me. Now turn your head this way for me. That muscle didn't get a lot stronger, maybe a little chin way up, just like that. Now push up for me here, and that's very weak. So turn it back this way, lean it way back like this, way over. Push up here. Now, push. That actually gets quite a bit stronger. So we know that when we turn her head in that position, it actually takes pressure off of that nerve root and it starts to strengthen it, okay? Now I'm gonna actually locate the exact vertebra that needs to be adjusted in the direction that it needs to be adjusted. Push here for me. Push. It's tender right there, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna make a, a little adjustment on the neck and see what kind of effect that has on the shoulder. Now, when we turned your head this way is what made it stronger, is that correct? Yeah. So I'm just gonna get on here. This is the part you do not want to try at home. Drop it here. Very good. So in this case, it was the C5 vertebra and we've tested for the correct head position and then we tested for the correct angle that we want to make the adjustment at. And when we do that, then we go back and we test the muscle push up for me and it's much stronger now, yeah. okay? 
immediate response. It's one of the reasons I like this technique is because the patient and I both know that it got better because the muscle is so much stronger. Let's check this muscle again. Push down here for me. And that one is much stronger too. So we got two for one on that one. See, doesn't cost you as much that way. Okay, very good. So now that we've got those muscles working properly, let's go on and check some of the other muscles in the shoulder and see if we find anything that's that's a, a problem. We'll start with the upper trapezius muscle. That muscle is right here on the top of the shoulder. And you'll notice a, a lot of people complain about problems up in here. They go, oh, my shoulders are so tight and I've got these knots up here. That's the upper trapezius muscle. And we're gonna put your hand just like this and you're gonna push your arm up like this and I'm gonna push it down. So go ahead and push up for me. Keep the elbow real. This is, you wanna cheat. Don't try not to cheat. <laughs> push up for me very weak can't do that let's try it on this side and let's see here okay so push here now that one feels a lot stronger doesn't it yeah. so this one not so much push real hard just really she's wincing it's hard it's painful for her so the upper trapezius muscle is is a problem with this one so let, what do you say we try to fix that one so at first so we can see how it does. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is put your hand right on that muscle right there. Okay. And then we're going to do a little muscle testing to figure out what's going on with it. Good. Push. Okay. So she's holding that muscle. We've got a little bit of weakness there. Now we're going to touch here. Push. Good. So. This is the, what we call the neurovascular point. We're gonna hold that. And this muscle inserts right at the base of her skull. So I wanna ask you, uh, Corey, is that tender there? Yeah. Pretty tender for her. So that's what you'll do is you'll find out where that tender spot is. And I'm gonna hold there for just a few minutes. Again, feeling for the pulses here. I always think about this as like a Vulcan mind mill, but. I'm actually trying to stay out of your mind. There's no telling what I might run into. And you can tell me when that spot stops being so tender. People who have a lot of headaches, people who get neck pain, people who, you know, they get pain up between their shoulder blades, this can be one of the causes of it. So these muscles are great indicators because they lead us back to where the problem is. Okay, yep. So grab this again for me. Push right here. Okay, now that might have been enough to fix it. There's quite a few other things that we could do in order to, to correct that muscle if it wasn't fixed. But in this case, it looks like just holding those points for a few minutes may have been enough. So I'm gonna stop right here and retest the muscle. Now push up for me. And it actually is quite, does that feel as tender to you? Oh, no, not at all. So usually it's not this easy. We have, we may have to make an adjustment. We have, may have to hit some other points. But in this particular case, working with her, just that one point of holding the muscle where it inserts and holding some other points completely strengthened it up. So we'll tap this point here to make sure that it's going to hold. Tap this muscle right here. That's actually where I need to tap and make sure that it's gonna hold. Push up for me now. Keep that arm just like that, push up. Very good. All right, so that's one muscle of the shoulder. I'm gonna go ahead and check a couple of more just to make sure that we've got things in order. Uh, this muscle is one that we find out uh, is out of, on a lot of people. This is called the subscapularis muscle. And if you remember, we did a, a video on the knees and we talked about how the popliteus muscle stabilized the knee. Well, this muscle stabilizes the shoulder. It's called a subscapularis. It's not a real strong muscle, but it provides a lot of neurological feedback to your brain to tell you where your shoulder is and to keep that joint stabilized. Otherwise, that joint is just in there doing this. So the way we test that is I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna hold your arm like this and I'm gonna have you push straight down into my hand. Go ahead and push here. And there's just nothing there. See how weak that is, push here. Okay, let's try this other one. I think I can do it this way. P 
push here for me down. This muscle is push quite a bit stronger than the other one. So a lot of her problems seem to be on this side. Push down again for me. Good. A little bit more. Let me see it this way. Now this muscle is not so fun to work on because it's up under your armpit here. It's pretty tender. Okay. Okay, this muscle is is located, we can use it kind of underneath the armpit here. So let's check here, push here. And then right here. Good. And then right here. So we've got some weakness here. So we're going to just have you, I'm going to hold right here. And it's going to be a little tender, a little goosey. But we're going to get right up there. How's that feel? Tickles. Tickles and, and it's pretty sore and it hurts. I'm actually going just kind of finding the border of the scapula and then going back to the very top corner of the axillary the armpit here and you can feel it there'll be a, a, a muscle right there and boy is it tender it's very tender but this is important to get fixed because this is what gives stability to the shoulder and I'm gonna hold that for just a minute until we get that pulsing there and then we'll check a couple of more points here push here there's a point right back here and a lot of these points will correspond to different organs in the body too so muscles affect organs organs affect muscles so we've got to also check those and I believe that one's okay and then here so let's go ahead and check that muscle and just you can tell me if it feels as tender as it did a minute ago now there also can be some vertebral levels that are involved here so let's check those as well C4, T7, and I think those are okay. So let's go ahead and just check the muscle. Push, and I see your arm is much lower now than it was. That's a great sign. It's a lot looser. Normally when we check these initially, the, the arm can't, won't be able to go down any further than that. Now when we do it, her arm's able to go down quite a bit further. Push down for me real hard. And it's actually much, much stronger now. So now you got your knee stabilized and your shoulder stabilized, okay? So that's very good. Thank you for being with us today, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video on the shoulder. Shoulders can be a lot of, cause a lot of problems, but there is hope. So if we can be of any service to you, look us up on the web, jeffeckles.com. Be glad to help if we can. Thank you for being such a great patient with us, Cora, and we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.